Chapter 960, Coast of the Odin, Chad Strides on Stage. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Pod D Cast. I am the best guy ever, and this is Give and Take. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. That's the thing you say on a beautiful Japanese day. day. Uh, <laughs> chapter 960, Kozuki Odin takes the stage, and let's check in with our cover page. We've got Capone and the family searching for Lola. Yeah. What are they up to? Uh, they're in they're in Dress Rosa. You can see uh, in the back there. There's Usopp with his uh, scared face, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. eating the chili face. I forget which. Uh, and and both, Lucy. Both, I think. No, I can't. Y- yes, yes. Uh, Lucy and, and uh, I think and Kairos, Kairos on the right. Yeah. So it, it's got to be th- that beard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. They got statues. Yeah, that's pretty nice. A co- commemoration of their heroic events. I guess. I guess they. I, I guess they knew it was Luffy later, right? But they still kept calling him Lucy. Well, because like they didn't you put can like see, a. You can't see what it's written there. It's L and the beginning of a U, so it could be either. Hmm. I wonder if that's intentional. Because I, I think they called him Lucy up to the very end of the arc, but I can't a hundred percent remember. Because uh, you know, Drizzarosa. When when <laughs> like it was the very end where Don Flamingo. Mm-hmm had been punched and he was getting back up and, and Luffy had just done Give Forth and he needed a few minutes to like recharge or something. People were like Yeah. Hey everybody, this this by the way, like the announcer was like, this is actually right. a pirate monkey D Luffy is like, oh Yeah. You know, learned that's it. right. Like, come on, pirate, do the thing. And pirates mm, are mm. pretty cool. I forget the reason that came up, but that's that's what happened. They need to like to stall him or say, yeah, whatever. I, I, uh, not a, dress rosa, not all bad. There's some good stuff in there. Not shitting on it overly too hard again this yeah. episode. Uh, I do like also that Beji uh, does the same thing as everyone else, where just put on a fake mustache that doesn't f- match your face, and nobody will know uh, yes. it's you. You notice that as well. When you go to dress rosa, Zoro, Zolo Juro did it, Sanji did it, Frankie did it, Luffy did it. It's what you do when you go there, uh, and it's paying off great. Maybe Usopp did it too. I, I, I can't remember. Um, but looking excellent. No one can tell it's him. Um, You've got these two sexual ladies who are oh, yes. not Lola and uh, and Chiffon, but but lookalikes or they something. So the quest continues. <laughs> like very thin calves. Yeah, very true. Like the the uh, it's typical Oda design of skipping leg day, which these girls have never walked a day in their life up to this point is my estimate. But uh, they're looking good. <laughs> Keep it up, ladies. You're killing it right now. All right, so the quest continues for Lola. We'll see if he finds them later. All right. Now on to the uh, backstory. This is the... It's the flashback, lads. The Here flashback it is. the flashback to Wano before the bad stuff, before the mm-hmm. bad times, before the bombs dropped. Um, 39 years ago. Yeah. There's a lot Long of... Time. There's lots of more trees. There's butterflies and frog. Mm-hmm. People fishing. The fish aren't poisonous. It's all good. Everything's everything that's bad about Wano is clearly being shown to have not happened yet. It's a thriving natural beauty of a of a land. How nice. How nice. And then we get a little uh tea shop, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh Otsuru mm-hmm. from the past looking like She looks like a normal human. What looking do you like know? a normal uh Oda girl. I guess when you age in Wano, you just turn into like a caricature of Japan I think I think that people. seems to be that seems to just be how it is like with Oda. I mean to be like, fair to, you have to grow <laughs> old as a woman before you have a character design <laughs> yeah she is just totally generic one piece lady I mean, now she's not totally generic yet like like you know in, I do notice there's a uh, little bit of a saw, mouth thing th- that's true when I first saw Kiku I was like the fact that Kiku has no tits is a dead giveaway. I'm noticing Tsuru basically has no big titties. She's a very svelte figure. So that's a traditional Japanese aesthetic, I guess. That's a little unusual. Most women just have huge tits in One Piece. But it uh, looks nice. She looks, she's, you know, she's cute. Yeah. Also, I, 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 this is a silly point, but this just really reminds me of um, Samurai Champloo. Just this atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, Samurais. She looks like Fu. They're at like a tea shop. That's where Fu started out Dude, at the beginning. Dude, do you think she looks this is like, like a reference to Seven Samurai? With the, oh like, my the god, it so is, dude. Uh, there's, yes, there's three yes. guys here. Maybe they're part of the Seven Samurai. Ooh, yeah, three is like a part of Seven, so that yeah, seems like a reference right there. you just need right four. 
<laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, there you go. Sewer's talking to these boys. Yeah, they they found a mountain god and, uh, you know, g- getting all stuff, and they got a pig. They got a special snow white pig mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. that they're going to sell in the capital for a big cash settlement. A piece of Platinum white gold. Platinum or white gold. Yeah, oof, that's, that's lots of money. Buy lots of big things with that. And apparently on their quest, the mountain was rumbling, and ooh, how mysterious and interesting. And these things are like servants of the gods, these white boars, they say. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Good job, yeah. guys. I wonder uh, how they actually got it, but probably not that No, I think, I think that was it. That, that they mm-hmm. snuck around while it, this giant pig mountain god was sleeping. They stole yeah, the pig, yeah. didn't realize that there was actually a, a real mountain god there. They just thought it was uh, legends. Yeah, I think and that's they, true. And I, they embellished the story, is... but it was actually real, that the story they were embellishing. Mm, indeed, indeed, that seems to be the implication. But there's a ruckus, fruckus, fuckus inside the building, and what's going on here? Oh, Kinemon stealing money from his childhood friend Otsuru. Now, of course, we know that these two eventually get married a long time later. Oh, look how cute they are! I like this scene a lot. Just look at her beating the shit out of Kinemon. Yeah, it's adorable. Oh, I like. It. He's he's a ruffian. He's a ruffy boy. He's, he's a Yakuza, low-level, strong boy or something. And he's here to take money from Tsuru because her tea shop is thriving. And he needs money, and he's a piece of shit asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like him. So his hair right now, <laughs> yeah. it's, it, I mean, it's probably not white, knowing Oda. I'm really assuming like he dyes pink. it now. Bright right? pink or yellow or something. But, God uh, damn it, Oda, you're going to do some bullshit with that. It's going mean, to be like... Of course. Pick a, pick a primary color, and there it is. Uh, you shame but like, us, why, why does it go dark? Huh? Either You know, it would, it'd be really funny if we learned that Kino, this is Kinemon's natural hair color, and he dyes it black to look like a normal samurai man. Or, I guess more likely is vice versa, because, I mean, he is, like, Japanese or whatever. Most, most of the time, they bleach their hair, and then they dye it a color, because uh, it's usually black. But uh, either way, it would be pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't uh, know. So, so he's Probably been stealing there. from her. She says, "Don't fucking steal from me again." Uh, you know, beating the shit out of him. I will sell your organs. Pretty good. I like her. This is uh, making me like Turu. She's impressive. That's cool. Yeah, she's cool. Um, Especially because we just heard that she may have been killed. We we all know she's not dead. All right, this is nah. One Piece. She's not fucking dead. She's but she's that's strong. The thing. I mean, mm-hmm. if the if we're thinking like about it at this point in One Piece, yeah, if a character were to die, she would be one of the best candidates for the most cries, but also wouldn't ruin the story sort of way. I mean, that's true and all, but uh, the, uh, the rules have changed since early One Piece. Like, uh, we shouldn't... Char- characters can die. They, no, they th- can that's die. What I mean. That's what I mean. Like, if a, a character were to actually die in Wano, she would be a good candidate for massive tears. Well, it's like, oh, I, no, I can tell Kinemon, you... Ne- he never got to say hello to her again. Oh, no. I can tell you 100%. Guarantee that has not happened. It's because there was no like. What, what what's the event? Let, let's say that she is in fact dead in the narrative. What we got was like Kinemon feeling sad. They never met, and we don't even like see her die. Like think about the characters that actually died. Uh, like they all we got to see like some event of their death. Like uh, oh, yeah. Whitebeard, Ace. Uh, I don't know, Mister Eleven. Pussy. Pound D pussy. There was like a thing that happened. I, I mean, yeah, it could happen off screen. I'm just telling I, you, I, I would happen. bet all my money I'm not, I'm she's not I'm not really dead. saying it's happening off screen, guaranteed, yeah. but I think uh, maybe, a, you know, if if we if you it's, just it's take possible. the character as a possible, like, character that could die and have a dramatic death in Wano, she's mm-hmm. one. Because she's not totally necessary for, for things. Very but, true. Um, Very true. She's cool as well, so it's like, ooh. Mm-hmm. This is the most I've liked her so far, but yeah, th- that's cool. Yeah. Anyway, they, they leave... The, the boys talking about capturing the white boy, they leave, and Kinemon goes, and he's like, I heard you talking about big money. Oh, by the way, I had to go read. I didn't understand why he was naked all of a sudden, <laughs> Kinemon, on the next page. Uh, I don't know if it's, I think Jaimini's box is a little confusing, but in manga stream or whatever, uh, okay, no, whatever, it's clear. Like, she just said, okay, you don't have money? Then give me all your possessions, and that'll make up for the money you've taken or something. Uh, okay, so that's why he's naked. I, I now understand. And then yes. he took the clothes and the treasure from these boys. Ha ha. I will go give the money to my big bro. I'll get the bounty for this thing. I've done it. I am Kinemon, a genius. Give me your clothes as well. Yeah. Got it. Excellent job. 
Uh, then we go whooshing over to the flower capital, where we have Kozuki Sukiyaki, the shogun mm-hmm. of the time, Odin's dad. And uh, we have an aide here, or some sort of advisor, saying, um, Your son, here's a list of all the things he's done that are so bad, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's quite an exhaustive list. He goes through, you know, when he was one year old, he f- managed to fling his wet nurse across the room. Two years old, this. Age zero. Four, like six. He was in the red light Fights district. Fights bears. Fights he, ba- at age six, he was already fucking slut. He was already mixing it up yeah. with the hose. Way like, to go, dude. Part of part of this whole thing, <laughs> this whole bit of him like being ridiculously young and doing all these outlandishly incredible things, mm-hmm. part of it is like, come on. Come on, though. That's a bit silly. <laughs> That's a bit too OP for a, for a person. But, well, yeah. But... Later in the chapter, when we see him, and we, you know, we said mm-hmm. early, like last chapter, we could tell he was he was str- he was uh, striding like a Chad, you know. He Absolutely, was, he was an absolute Absolutely. boy, and <laughs> and this is sort of like it's over the top, but it works, you know. It's not like a law sort of over the top, you know. Well, he he is silly. There is a sense of humor to him. A, a sense of humor about a character goes a massive way to making me yeah. not cringe when a like, character cause, does cause things while like I was, this. While I was reading this at first, it was just sort of like, are they just going to keep going? Like, every age he did this? What is this, Michael Pretty Rosen? Pretty much. <laughs> like, uh, like uh, he started uh, uh, a war with the with the Yakuza when he was nine or something, or age 10, yeah. he killed everyone. That doesn't uh, make sense, but I guess it's true. He's, he's really, he really is like a big mom type. He obviously was just born with, like, unbelievable power. Because that's the, that's the only way any of this makes sense. Yeah, I uh, suppose that so, is you know. the this, this sort of thing. Like, some people just have the genes to be incredible. He's clearly one. He's clearly yeah, one. By is, eight, is, he was getting shwasted every night. By nine, fighting the Yakuza, going to the casinos, starting wars with them. By ten, thrown in jail for this fucking war and burning down part of the capital or whatever. Yeah, and, and then he gets to the his, quarry. You oh, yeah, can see yeah, his dad going. sort of, like face palming like oh god my boy what (laughs) you're such a handful you're such a this is the reason uh that i hate children this is the reason that everything's gonna be bad and it's rough it's rough for a shogun dad out there in the world a single dad he formed a heart this is really funny like at age 15 while he was hiding from you know he from like getting caught from crimes Mm -hmm. uh, he got a job at a temple deep in the mountains, every night he would kidnap women from the capital, and he eventually <laughs> formed a harem. Yeah. Although technically, <laughs> the girls chose to save their own free will, they, so he was just so They definitely cool. add that caveat, so we won't be like, um, um, I'm a little worried about that questionable character. No, 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 let's be totally clear. He formed a totally consensual harem, guys, I mean, and it was great. It's not just that, you know, it stops, you, <laughs> it stops him from being a villain. It's, it's the fact that... You know, he did all of the stuff, and he's just so cool that all the girls that he kidnapped liked him. Like, immediately. yeah, unironically, unironically, is... perfectly liked him. It just makes the way it that really like funny. the weird obsessive like Roger and Whitebeard like gay love for him up to this point seems a little more reasonable considering yeah. all this shit. Like everyone loves this guy so fucking much, but he's he's a crazy man. And just like, just like Luffy, when he was like, he was put in a quarry, he was put in jail, but he was running that jail by like one year after that because he was so good at cutting stone, which, by the way, is a Kozuki family thing. Cutting stone, making the poneglyphs. Ooh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So anyway, the, his, his, uh, his guys <laughs> saying all this, having said that, that, you know, he failed to set sail, escape mm-hmm. the country for like the 18th time or something. And, uh, you know, all this stuff. And he's like, all right, that's enough. I've heard enough. I know my son's a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't like him. He's 18 uh, now. Uh, just just give me, give him this piece of paper that just says disowned on it. So that he knows he's disowned and I don't have to say it to his face. I would much prefer, a true gift would be, do not say another word. Just deliver this to him. Just says N-word pass on the paper. <laughs> now that, now that's a powerful now tool. That's a G-word pass. <laughs> What's the G? Think about it. Gamer? <laughs> no. Think about he's Japanese. G- G- Gaijin? Is that it? I, G- Geisha? I don't know. I can't think of anything. Maybe I'm thinking of a ro- like the wrong slur. It uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's, okay. Let's, let's go on back over 
Uh, so we got Kanemon here running about town trying to cash in on the money, but alas, because he's stolen from these people before, because he's a, an uncouth yeah. customer, they will not, they're chasing him out so he can't get the money for the he's damn board. A, he's, a, he's a rebel that doesn't have a gang. He's just mm. he's just fighting for himself. And well, I, think he, I think he is in the Yakuza, but like he, he yeah, says well, he has a big bro, so there's someone he's affiliated with. Oh, yeah, Don't know who is, yet, though. That is true. Like, it's not Odin yet, so who is Yeah, it? yeah. Um... But yeah, the Hyogoro, uh, there he is. He's, big. he's definitely at least six feet taller than he is as an old man. He just he withered away later in life. Uh, but that's cool. Glad you're glad you're doing well. He's got a full belly. He's looking like an absolute Chad. Uh, and he orders Kinemon to be flayed alive. Uh, but he doubts they'll be able to because he's too strong. So yeah. I guess they've had some run-ins before. That's cool. Then that's cool. Uh, we get our first glimpse. Of uh, Denjiro, the that, one yeah, there he is. Uh, nine scabbard people that we haven't seen as an adult yet. Correct. That's what he looks like. He's a he's a he's got a glasses and he's a he's a trickster and a and a smart boy. He he's cons a fast talking huckster. Cons mm-hmm. a man out of giving him uh, a pot that's twice as expensive as the one he bought by returning it and saying, "Hey, you know, I bought this for for thirty. I can exchange it for thirty, right? But mm-hmm. um, if you add the thirty to the, the, you know, the, the value of this pot that I already bought, it's basically 60. So could I have one of the bigger ones? And he's like, oh, Makes yeah, sense I guess to me. Oh, so. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. It, it took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out exactly what was going on here and with these numbers and exactly what he was trying to... Hmm. I had to go read Manga Stream to understand what maybe, the point of this was. Maybe I could have uh, conned you out of that. Maybe, maybe You I definitely could've. could have. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, let me just say, we, uh, we see a bit more of Denjiro, but... Okay, we we you we now see Denjiro's face. We're looking at him. He seems, you know, interesting. I, I've seen a lot of people. I don't know how serious this is. Many people are thinking, hmm, there is a similarity between Denjiro and Zoro's teacher, Zoro's master from back home. I mean, okay, first of all, the timelines make no sense if these are like the same character. So just, I'm not even going to go into the details. But like right now, he would be like a child. Zoro wouldn't be born yet. Uh, he'd have to like go to the East Blue and then like found Wait, the dough. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So that's it's not these, him. These these kids here. Yeah. Um, they're like in their teens, so like whatever, mm-hmm, like fifteen, mm-hmm. eighteen. Um, this is twenty years ago, right? This is forty. This is thirty nine years ago from the current day. Okay. So then he'd be fifty by the time of. Uh, current One Piece. In which Gabe, let me, is let like me just 20. save you the trouble. There's no need to even consider the fact that it's him because if if this were him, he would have had to go like found the village, then come back to Wano after going to the East Blue and rejoin the Red Scabbards for when like uh you know uh, when uh, uh, Orochi like ruined the Kozuki clan. Like it does it doesn't make any sense on the timeline. It's completely nonsensical. Maybe they're distant relatives. I mean that's possible. But it's just it's it's ab- like it's technically possible, but it would be the dumbest thing ever. Uh, um, so, hmm. uh, I don't know. I haven't given it any thought. I I need to I need to pour over my research, uh, as in go to the wiki and look at some numbers. <laughs> yeah, <You know, laughs> fair enough. A lot of but, people uh, have been talking about uh, uh, Denjiro Pot Master is going to show up. Zoro's master in a really big pot that he sailed from the East Blue. And uh, just just in time to join the final battle against uh, you know uh, the big boys Kaido and the oh, crew. He, you uh, think Zoro's teacher is gonna come all the way? <laughs> Riding his big pot that he bought for sixty for thirty you know yen or nah, whatever. Nah, nah. I think he's gonna be smoking <laughs> his big pot back at home. Whoa, dude! It, it, it's not him, guys. It's it's definitely not. Well, him. It, it does say an orphan from the capital, so he could mm-hmm. have a brother called Zoro. Yeah, I mean that's teacher. possible. But but it's just like uh, the other point is they say that Zoro's village was like founded and he says like the geezers in my village used to tell us it seems to imply that village had been there for a while though not not necessarily I mean I guess. Zoro wouldn't have known how long it's yeah, been there yeah. he was a kid I mean maybe the village was founded like shortly before I, I don't know like sixty years ago like maybe Denjiro's brother is there right now maybe their dad went over there and left Denjiro here they founded the village. And Zoro was trained there. I don't know what his family would be doing there, but maybe. I, these things are possible, but it's, it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it seems I a mean, little I, unlikely. It's, it's a compelling idea, because it would be like, oh my god. Whoa. Compelling, I guess. It doesn't matter. Com- Characters don't have to be related, you guys. It's dumb. 
No, they do. They have to. Just let to. them do things. <laughs> it has to okay, be a thing whatever. I've seen before. Otherwise, how can I clap when I see them? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, all right, let's let, let, let's keep going. So whatever. Right. Denjiro makes money hanging he, out with Kinemon. He Kinemon's. sees his yeah. friend uh, Kinemon and they mm -hmm. say hello. Then we swish over to a crematorium where, you know, little girl's crying. My, my grandpa. Oh, no. It's so terrible. Everyone's crying mm, at this funeral. Nani. And then we see... This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, Lord Odin, we see his we face. We finally see him. There uh, he, is. he is. He is cooking a big <laughs> pot of, of stuff. It is, it is Odin he's cooking. He's cooking Odin. Oh, he's cooking Odin. Which uh, is his name. On top <laughs> of the burning, like, s skull, frac uh, like, skeleton. The burning yeah. <laughs> skeleton of some guy. <laughs> and he is eating as fast as he possibly can, and he's being, you know, gross and burping and chewing and, you know, yep. drinking and huffing and puffing. And it's like, oh my god, how could you do this? How could you be so uh, ins uh, insensitive to, to put, a, like, crush this guy's rib cage with a giant <laughs> pot and boil some Odin over it? Ah, uh, uh, you know, th th this is it, lads. So much. Of your first impression of a the the first real this is our first real impression of this character our first real seeing them doing any action clearly and like this is what we're now to see it's everything about so... Odin's reputation has him building him up as like this ultimate badass blah 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 maybe he seems a little bit silly but he, oh, and this is the first thing we see him do cooking a big pot of Odin on top of a dead man who didn't do nothing he's just dying and trying to be burned he's just, you he's know just trying to be cremated here. It reminds me of, I don't know, first impressions of, like, when we first... The first thing we ever saw of, like, uh, uh, Otohime and Fishman Island, that was another incredibly strong impression. She is just, she is screaming in agony after having slapped the shit out of, like, a dude who, like, was committing a theft, but she, like, thought he was being a naughty boy. So, like, the first panel of her reveals, like, her broken arm, where she's, like, screeching about how much pain she's in after slapping the shit out of a thief. Uh, I don't know. There's other other strong introductions. Point is, this has a lot of personality. It is hilarious. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and also, I guess he doesn't have a tricorn hat like I thought he was going to. That's no, just his hair. That's just his um, hair. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's fine, I guess. Was uh, this a misdirect? Was, that su was I supposed to think it was a tricorn why, hat? I mean, what relevance would a tricorn hat have had? I it I mean his hairstyle is just very silly. Like this is revealed to be in fact a very Mate, silly looking man. There, there's I, well, so I, I many know. silly looking hairstyles. I I'm aware of that, but like revealing like it, it's 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 a common joke to have like a silhouette of a character that looks very silly, but then when you actually see it it turns out that like things were, you know, designed to be jokes. They were it was like kind of a foreshadowing joke. You thought it would be X, but it's actually Y and Y is very silly. That's, uh, let me know I mean, if you think I'm wrong about that, people. A tricorn or, like, any sort of hat is just, yeah. I don't know. Like, why, it, does it upset There's no, you? I don't know. There's no reason at all. Could have been one thing, could have been another. He looks very silly. I don't know why he has this hairstyle. <laughs> it's, but I think it's, it's supposed to be sort of like a like a, a weird slick back Yakuza thing, but just really wide as well. Uh, maybe. I I don't you know. You know I'm, how I'm they curious. have that? Like, like you know how the pompadour thing, they go forwards? Yes. This one just yes. goes in all directions because he's so Chad-like. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I mean, he's definitely, definitely a Chad. Okay, but anyway, so anyway. here he is. I, let me just say that, that all this badass stuff was built up. The first thing we see him do is incredibly silly. And I gotta say, this is starting him off on a very good foot. I yes. am not cringing. I am loving his retarded-ass lifestyle yeah. and body. Excellent, excellent work, Oda. Very impressed. Yeah, so uh, terrible, horrible thing he's doing. And then, you know, <laughs> yes. everyone's crying like, I can't believe you would disrespect they're just, us they're like this. still, like, every moment, they're like, please, sir, stop eating on top stop. of my he's father. Just but he just him. won't. He just won't stop. And this he, is he, brutal. he downs the Odin, <laughs> like, picks it up yep. with one hand, giant bowl, spits, like, Pleh. and then mm -hmm. he, he finishes his drink, puts the thing, in, and then he's like, see ya. Next time we drink together, Katsuo, it will be in the afterlife. And it's like, <gasps> and the then whole he chad strides away. He mm -hmm. chad strides away. It's like, my condolences <laughs> to the family. And that whole time, he wasn't just being an idiot asshole jumping on someone's grave. He was having a last <laughs> meal with a deceased friend. And it was like, yeah, oh. yeah. 
It's, uh, I get maybe he was kind of doing both. I don't know. But, like, it, this skeleton seems pretty pleased with the events that have transpired, <laughs> which is I... pretty sick. Uh, <laughs> and all and all the women are instantly cooming from their eyes and their hearts at, yeah. at what a beautiful manly display. He literally Chad strides away out of the situation, doesn't explain shit, and everyone is just instantly in love with him for having yeah. done so. God Once damn. they realized that he was he was paying his respects by do like maybe doing something, having a drink with a buddy. Yeah, that yeah. Can no longer drink back. He has to do it, you know, drink for the two of them, eat for the two of them. It's just sort of like, oh, he he was a good, he was a best friend ever. That's the coolest thing, possibly the coolest <laughs> thing ever happened at any probably funeral ever. Pro- probably true. I would uh, someone out there, please find for me link in the description. People, there has to be a virgin mourner versus Chad eats Odin on top of you know butt drinking buddy funeral <laughs> attendant. Someone, please, I want to see the crying bitch ass faces of the mourners of the actual family versus Odin's powerful <laughs> display here. I, um, you know, all right, the, link to that. I want to o- see Oda that. Does, Oda does. does really well. Is you know the Chad characters who are just so over the top. Indeed. But, like, the thing that makes them so likable and so lovable <laughs> and so cool is that they do what they know is right, and they just don't explain. And yeah, they don't give a shit. Out. They just don't give a shit. And it's like they that. don't feel the need to, to, to explain themselves to anyone, and that's a, that's a powerful thing. It's and then very, everyone's very like, when, w- the realization that everyone comes to is like, oh, you know, they, for us, that's validation that he got, like, he's mm-hmm. not, like, run out of town as, like, a, an asshole. Indeed, but, like, indeed. Um, for for the character themselves, they wouldn't care either way. It's just sort of like, hey, I just did it because I had to do it because that's what he would have wanted. Indeed. At least, I, I'm not sure if he knew this man or if he just, like, <laughs> decided well, to eat on top of this guy and then left a drink, you know, as a he, he pleasure does, to he, know you, well, Mr. He na- Skelly. He, he, na- he names the person Katsuzo. So, like, but there I were, assume. like, signs around, so, like, maybe he just got the name off of those. I can't quite tell if he knew the well, guy or not. Uh, I don't know. He knew, you know. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. But, I mean, yeah. Uh, if he didn't funny. even know the guy, that might even make it funnier because it's like. Yeah, absolutely. It's just I, doing not... something for someone who is dead. I, either way, it's great. I don't care. I would prefer it if he didn't even know the guy and just you know, like basically became friends with him while eating food off the top of him. Uh, which is pretty sick. Which reminds me of, are you familiar with that thing that they do in, I know it's Japanese, where, like, they, like, hire, like, a pretty lady and they lay sushi on top of her body and she's, like, the platter and then they eat off I've, of her body? Uh, I've it's a heard thing. of People such do that. things. This is, like, the manly version of that. <laughs> you kill the man <laughs> and you burn his corpse and you cook on top of him. So sick. So, so totally sick. Okay, anyway. Off he goes. Odin's away. Everyone loves him. That's end of that scene. <laughs> yeah, so then he's just chatting, striding away. I don't know who this mm-hmm. person is next to him. Just sort of like a... He just uh, showed... I think he's an official... Escort, official royal person. Based on the conversation here, apparently he's here to capture Odin, but he was bribed, so he's not going to bother, so he seems like a police or shogun agent or something. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but then the, the, the clang bell, the bell clanging... Uh, Odin like asks what the guy in the tower sees. Is it mm-hmm. a, is it a fire? And it's not it's bigger than a fire. It's a pig. It's a giant pig. It's a mountain god, and it's smashing up the place. Oh it's... no! Well, we learn could this, this be? Could this uh, be a Princess Mononoke reference with giant pigs uh, being captured and mountain gods invading towns and smashing up things? Uh, maybe I don't know. That Dude, did do you happen think in Princess, Princess Mononoke. Mononoke. Was Seven Samurai? <laughs> you know, uh, uh, unironic question, I don't know. I, I was Princess Mononoke's usage of, like, the boars as gods. Like, are these two stories, One Piece and Princess Mononoke, referencing the same story about oh. pig mountain gods? Uh, or, um, it, you know... It, it always seems to be that sort of thing. Like, yeah, Japanese, I agree. Japanese games and, mm-hmm. and animes and, and, and all that, they, mm-hmm. they have... A lexicon of Japanese myths that they draw from, and so Indeed. similar things Indeed. are seen like in Legends of Zelda, and then also, you know, other things. Yeah, it's like our uh, Ronald McDonald. You know, you see him pop up in all our Western <laughs> yeah. stories, and the, uh, the only same American thing. culture is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> it's a unique one. Uh, okay, so there you go. Boom, we're all getting fucked. And Denjiro and Kinemon are saying, "Oh shit, bro! Oh fucking shit! We've got the little boy, and he came to kill us." And so they're freaking out a little bit. Kinemon feels a little bit bad about uh, having caused this by bringing 
the white boar, servant of the gods, to the capital, which is now currently fucking the shit up and have already either killed or maimed or harmed many people already. Um, so that's that's a big oof. That's a that's a big goof right there. But uh, but luckily we've got one absolute Chad listening to their story and saying, "Hey, I don't know you two guys, but give me the boar because this sounds interesting, quite omoshiroi, dare I say." And yeah. so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna do something. He's he's gonna do something. He's so we don't get any that fights. Pig on the nose. Next chapter, I think we will definitely get a display of his power. I want to see him kill this boar in one slash. It's going to be a sick-ass samurai attack or something. Yes. It better be, because I'm dying for it. I'm dying for it real bad. And then, yeah, presumably, Denjiro and Kinemon will team up with them from then on. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Those two swords he has there, are they, are they Enma? The, those the are the one? two. Those are the two legendary big dick ones. I forget the names. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. I mean, and that's the end of the chapter. Uh, it's it's a little bit uneventful of a chapter, but a lot no, of setup it's for. It's, it's, no, it's not really. Uh, you know, <laughs> there were. I mean, okay. First of all, we got to see Odin. A final at long last. We've met the boy, powerful lad, excellent comedy, good stuff. We're seeing Kinemon, Denjiro. We see for the first time. It, we're setting the stage of the flashback with Tsuru and uh, 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 Hyogoro, and he was the Yakuza boy, and we got Sukuyaki or whatever the fucking the, the old dad of Odin is. We're seeing events set in motion. It's, but, but, like, this chapter is a very much a building up for perhaps a slight climax next chapter, so I'm really eager to get there and see, uh, and see what goes down yeah, in I Chinatown. Wanna, I wanna <laughs> I want to know what Odin's going to do when he gets the letter that says, uh, you're not my Disowned. son anymore. Yeah, if I, now, if I remember correctly, I think that he was, I, I, I think in the past it was said that, like, oh, yeah, our Lord Odin was so cool, he was disowned by his father, but then after he went and he, he, he when he did that thing and he, like, he fought Asura Doji and he, like, settled that town, I think he, like, did that and that made him so cool he became, like, the daimyo or, like, the leader or whatever of that area. And then after that, they, like, remade him um, the, the, the heir or something. So, like, I think the, these are the events we're generally going to see in the flashback. Obviously, there's going to be more to it. But uh, I think, he, I think he's going he's gonna to beat this guy. He's going to get Kinemon, Denjiro, maybe some of their boys, like, on his squad. Then those guys are going to go to that place, you know, I can't remember what it's called, that they made into his little, his little area he was the daimyo of. And then he's going to take it over. Beat Asura Doji, get the rest of the Red Scabbards, and he'll meet Toki Toki, Nomi user, his future wife, have some kids maybe, and we'll and we'll finish this flashback up there as he's like Crown Prince or something again. So these are gonna be the general events, but uh, so far highly entertaining, excellent work characterizing him, Oda. Uh, th- yeah, this is the right. You know, I was I was I was like, oh, we're making this guy so cool, everyone loves him, but all it, all it, like we did we did very similar things with Katakuri, right? Now, Katsukuri is still the greatest character ever conceived by man, but this, this is the right way to do it, guys. You just don't make them too serious. You keep it funny. You keep it light. And that's exactly what Oda's been doing so far with, with Oden. So well, well done. Very, very pleased. Very pleased. I'm not disappointed at all with how, uh, how he's been revealed. How are you feeling so far about it? Uh, I'm, yeah, I like it. I yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just is not much else to say. It's like, good. From, it's good. It's great. Uh, more please. That's, That's pretty I'm much thinking. the end of it. More yeah. please, as soon as possible, sir. Um, I cannot wait to see Odin Chad stride his way to victory across this whole fucking land. And you know what? I'm already feeling pretty. Now that I actually know the guy and I like a little bit, and I've seen the silly things he does. Obviously, we're gonna get to know him a lot better. I'm already feeling really sad knowing this guy just f- eats shit and dies to fucking Orochi and the boys because yeah. I already really like him. He's such a fucking Chad. He he captured a whole fucking harem of sluts at age like nine because he's that much of a Chad. He just impregnates the women by a sheer gaze in their direction. In- incredible absolutely incredible i love him <laughs> yeah like he, his uh. death it's 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 one of those things you see this character and you're like ah oh, i wonder what he would like how he would react like he, him with... and luffy hanging out would be so much fun they'd be best yeah. friends but they're never or, gonna meet or, or um we will see him and roger frankie, though or like uh, he's got oh yeah him and frankie oh that's making like, me sad 
A lot of people said he, he's a lot like Frankie, which he kind of is. He kind of is. But uh, he's more like Luffy, really. Except also, I guess, with a sex drive. <laughs> That's the main <laughs> difference here. Oh, absolutely based. Absolutely based. Uh, yeah, um, that's that's the word. That's the word of the day. <laughs> it is. It's the word of the of the Odin arc. He's he's a based Chad. There's no doubt about it. Oh, you know what? I, I, in the uh, in the podcast Discord, we were talking about like, all right, guys, we've met Odin now. Pretty based, pretty Chadly. But can you believe that little bitch boy? Um, oh, they're, they're like age six. Uh, uh, Kozuki Odin, like, establishes harem, like, leader of quarry, like, dominates entire, uh, country of Wano. Age eight, Momonosuke, uh, we've gotta open the borders of Wano, guys, please, someone help me open the borders of Wano. But, and everyone's like, ugh, gross, what a terrible son. But then, but then we cut to Momonosuke just, just squeezing and rubbing his face and smiling evilly inside Robin's titties at the rest of the group, and we're like, that is Odin's son. This is what Odin would have oh, wanted his son to be. That is true. And we've... Uh, I think that, uh, I think that um, what's her face, the sister, Hiori, got all the power, got all the raw physical domination, as we saw when she was like a manic little girl doing drop kicks and shit on Momonosuke. But, um, but uh, clearly, he got, the, he got the sexual prowess, the, the, well, the Chad like, powers. Hiori or Kumurasaki... Or, or same whatever. same character, right? Yeah, yeah. So like that would yeah. t- totally make sense why she she ended up doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, because she, she loves to fuck. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a family. She trait. just turned Odin's hobby into her profession, and it worked out great. You know what? You're making a strong case there. You're making a very strong case indeed. <laughs> Well, I guess that's all there is to it. We're going to see more next chapter. I cannot wait to learn more. And, and you know what? Last thing I'll say about this is just, I, I touched on it before, but like, we we know his wife is Lady Toki, eater of the Toki Toki, literally time travel devil fruit, who we're almost guaranteed to meet and learn about in this fucking flashback. And like, her, very, it's very likely her, her past will like involve the Poneglyphs, maybe even the Void Century. And we know he literally joins Whitebeard's and Gold Rogers' fucking crew. Um, like, goddamn, there's a lot of fucking information that could be in this fucking flashback. Uh, I think that Oda will limit at least some of it. We're not going to learn everything here. Yeah, but this is, like let's not this forget. Could go on for months. It, 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 I mean, yeah, it, it could. But this is a flashback we've never seen before about one of the members of Gold Rogers' crew. With the one exception of early One Piece, we did see the flashback with Buggy to when he was on Gold Rogers' crew, but we didn't know it was Gold Rogers' ship at the time. So putting that one aside, uh, this, uh, this is going to be some crazy shit. Okay, that's it. Set the stage for adventure. Cannot wait to see more. Uh, I want to see Odin, and he said like he tried to escape Wano like 38 times. Uh, he fails every time because he can't sail a ship because he's an idiot incompetent. But uh, I, I'm very excited to see his exploits. There you go. Yeah. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching this week's podcast. We'd really appreciate your support over on patreon.com slash thepodcastpirates. Link down below. Give us a dollar. Join the crew. Give us more. We'll love you even more than that. And you can always, of course, join the Discord to discuss One Piece and all things One Piece related. Down below, click the link to the Pod Discord. Very active. Very good. Talk about One Piece. There you go. All right, we'll see you next week, hopefully, barring no catastrophes, and it'll be a wonderful time for all. Bye. Bye. See you then. Bye. Bye.